What's going on, Yu-Gi-Oh! fans? Platter my cards in the house, and I am really, really excited because it looks like we're going to be getting some new Photon slash Galaxy support coming out in the set Photon Hypernova. And plus, we have the sneak peek of the pack art. I don't think I've seen this yet myself, but that's pretty dope, guys. So let's just go ahead and get into the monsters because that's what I'm most excited about. So Photon Emperor is a level 8, of course, light warrior effect monster with 2,800 attack and 1,000 defense. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. One, if this card is sent to the graveyard except from the field and you have another Photon or Galaxy monster on your field or in your graveyard, you can special summon this card in defense position. Okay, so possible foolish burial target maybe. Uh, secondly, if you normal or special summon this card, you can normal summon one light monster during your main phase uh, this turn in addition to your normal summon and set. That's actually not bad. Gives you an extra summon, plus it has the ability to summon itself. Uh, overall, I think that's a pretty decent card. Uh, let's move on to the next card though. Galaxy Summoner. Level 4 Light Spellcaster Effect Monster with 1600 attack and 1400 defense. You can only use the first and second uh, effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can target one photon or galaxy monster in your graveyard except Galaxy Summoner. Special summon it in defense position. Oh, great actually. So we have a way to uh, use this thing's effect, but not just this thing. Obviously, you can use a lot of different things. Uh, secondly, you can target one other light monster you control that has a level level its level becomes level four until the end of the turn oh nice actually because sometimes you're stuck between level eights and level four so you do have now the ability to turn both of them into level fours therefore going into level four xe's play so overall i think this is a decent card as well uh next we got galley Kribo. nice level one one for one target level one light fiend effect monster this is always treated as a galaxy card when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can discard this card, special summon one Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon from your hand or deck, then change the attack target to it. Then you can attach this card from your graveyard to an XC's monster. That's This is a good card. This is a really, really good card. I like this. Secondly, if a Photon or Galaxy Monster monsters you control would be destroyed by a battle or an opponent's card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Wow. Protection plus the ability to search and summon. That's pretty good. Honestly, I think I'm going to have to try out this new support, guys. This is pretty good. Uh, next, we got an XC's monster. Yay! Love to see new support for this stuff. Chaos uh, number C62. Uh, I almost said number C69 for some reason. Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Rank 8, of course. Light Dragon XC's effect monster. 4,000 attack, 3,000 defense. Takes three level 8 light monsters. All right, so it's somewhat generic, so maybe I could try this out in my Blue Eyes deck too. But depends depends on its um, effect. You can also XC's um, summon this by using a number 62 Galaxy Ice Prime Photon Dragon. You control transverse materials to this card. Okay, I do have a couple copies of number 62 Galaxy Ice. Um, one at the start of your battle phase, you can detach one material from this card. This card can make up to three attacks on monsters during this battle phase. That's not bad, actually. That has has potential OTK. Not saying it will. More often than not, it probably will not. But uh, that has potential there because of its high attack. Uh, secondly, if this card has uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon as material, it gains these effects. It's unaffected by your opponent's uh, monster effects, plus it gains attacks equal to the combined level. Of what the hell? What the hell? Oh, wow. That's insane. I'm going to be trying this out for sure. This card is crazy, guys. Gains attack equal to the uh, combined levels and ranks of all. Oh, never mind. I thought I said 1,000. I'm, I am I overdid that way too much. Okay. I overdid that way too much. It still has potential to gain a lot of attack, but it's not as much as I thought it was. Yeah, that's my mistake there. I apologize for that one. But, uh, yeah, this 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 card has potential to get really, really high. Or not really, really high, but still really high in attack. That's kind of crazy. Um, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Nice. Uh, rank 4 Light Dragon XC's effect monster, 2,000 attack, 0 defense, okay? Just takes two level 4 monsters, another generic. You can use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. All other light monsters you control gain 500 attack. All right, not bad, but I uh, don't see that being, like, the best effect ever. You can detach one material from this card, take one photon or galaxy card from your deck, and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Okay, so we have a way to uh, dump the first card that we were looking at straight to the grave. So not bad. And then immediately you can uh, use its effect, pop off special summon, get another normal summon by its own effect. So nice, not bad at all. Um, secondly, oh no, I already looked at the second effect. Thirdly, if a light monster monster is special summoned to your field, uh, you can target one of them uh, that has a level, that has a level, its level becomes four or eight until the end of this turn. Nice. So more level manipulation. Uh, it's a great way. 
uh, much necessary, honestly, in an XC deck, especially because this deck runs fours and eights. So if you needed to do eights in that time, you can manipulate. If you needed fours at the time, you can manipulate. So overall, I think it's somewhat decent card. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, next we got next we got spell cards. Nice Galaxy Hundred continuous spell card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. One when this card resolves, you can send one photon or galaxy card from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, nice. Uh, was that uh was this a photon or galaxy card? I'm trying to remember. Photon Emperor. Okay, yep, yep. Perfect. Uh, where is it? Where is it? A uh, photon or galaxy card from your deck to the graveyard. If one galaxy as photon dragon is special summoned to your field, you can look at your opponent's extra deck, then you can apply one of the following effects. Banish one monster from it or special summon one number of monster from it to your field. That's really good. Oh, wow. The ability to just get rid of your opponent's extra deck is really, really good. Uh, and, uh, mind you, it is once per turn, but I think even getting rid of one, that's, that's super dope. And is that number 100 on uh, the card art right here? Yeah, that's pretty dope. Numeron Creation, a normal spell card. If this this card is always treated as a Galaxy Eyes card. You can only apply the effect of this card's name once per turn. If there are three or more light dragon monsters on the field with 3,000 or more attack, special summon one dragon number X seize monster from your extra deck, then attach uh, the this card on the field to it as material. Interesting. One dragon number X seize monster. There's a lot of ways you can go, but I'm assuming based on the card art, they want you to go into 100, right? So that will be kind of interesting. There's definitely a lot of different things you can do with these cards. There's so many plays and whatnot that can be done. And lastly, we got a trap card. Photon Declaration. Normal trap card, meaning you can trap trick it. You can take one photon or galaxy eyes continuous spell trap from your deck, either add it to your hand or place it face up on your field. So, it, wow, it lets you search the this card, which in turn can banish a monster from your opponent's extra deck. So, not bad. Uh, secondly, if this set card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect during their turn and you control a galaxy size photon dragon or an XC's monster that has this material, you can make it become the end. Wow. That's pretty good, too. I mean, I love trap cards that have that effect when uh, if they're set and they're destroyed, then they still have an effect because it limits the negative, uh, I would say, things about it. That's not bad at all. I would definitely try this out in my um, galaxy as deck in the future i personally do not have one but my little brother does so i might just have to make one for competition purposes uh i do have most of the pieces laying around though so definitely something i am interested in this card overall this uh these cards overall i think are have some potential guys overall this is looks like it's going to be fun i don't know about how competitive it will be that's for something i'll have to test out for right but just just in terms of me having fun with an, uh, some new support, this definitely looks like it's going to be really, really fun. But anyways, guys, this is Plutter McCards signing out for the day. If you like what you see, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do